Something's looking a little different here. As you can see, we have an entire new camera setup. Honestly, with the old setup, I was planning on changing that for like a year. I'm gonna blame Ikea for this one. I bought this wardrobe, right? The one that has been in the background of all of my videos for like the past year with the intention of buying the doors later on. But guess what? Ikea doesn't make doors for that size, okay? You have to buy two awkward sizes to fit the wardrobe. It's so stupid. And I kept telling myself that I would do that. A year has gone by and I haven't done that. That. So here we are. I hope you guys like the new setup. This is gonna be what we're rolling with for the next little while, I think. And I have so many like knickknacks and things back there that I love, including like some things that I've painted. Like I've got lava lamps going on back there. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner, to be honest. But anyway, today in The Sims 4, we're gonna be building a house using only the three newest packs. At this current moment, the three newest packs we have are The Sims 4 Growing Together, The Sims 4 High School Years, and The Sims 4 Werewolves. You might be wondering about the kits as well. I don't think I'm gonna be including those in this challenge. We're just gonna focus on the packs. Plus I might do like another kit video coming soon anyway. I am still working things out a little bit, like lighting, like this all looks a little bit different, but we'll get there. Anyway, we're gonna be building here in Willow Creek and I'm gonna set my filters right off the bat. We're gonna be doing growing together, high school years, and werewolves. And I think I am going to be including base game here. The reason why I'm doing this in the first place is because it makes it a lot easier for more people to have access to the build. With fewer packs, we're more likely to cater to a wider audience. If you have these packs, you got base games. So that's what we're rolling with here. So I'm actually gonna start off doing my landscaping. I'm back in my pond era. All I want to do lately is like put ponds into my game. So I'm going to build something out like this. Okay. That is not as high as I thought it would be. I'm using this terrain tool, the flatten to height tool, which is really helpful because then you can like use these sliders here to adjust your height. I just feel like you got to have more control doing it this way. So right now I'm building like a terrain shelf for my house. And then once I have that, we're going to go in with the lower terrain tool and I'm going to trace around pretty much everything. This is where I'm going to put my pond just all around the whole thing. It doesn't have to be clean. I might even like bring some parts out a little bit more than others. Then we can go in with our water tool and we're just going to fill the whole thing up. My camera is also in a different position. So I keep wanting to like look the other way. Now that we've got that, I'm going to add some stairs and we're going to use these base game ones with this little pattern in between them. It has like this floral kind of pattern that I like. And I'm just going to bring that all the way to the edge there like that. Then I'm going to go in with a base game tile. I'm actually drawing in inspiration here from this post that I saw on Twitter. This person did kind of like a similar pond and landscaping style that we're going to do today and I love it. So I wanted to show you guys before we went any further. They made this like checker pattern that we're going to be using where you add the tile in one shade and then you go in with another and it just creates that like cool look there. So I'm going to bring that up here as well. This is going to act as like our entryway. Maybe I'll even expand the tile a little bit, but I feel like that looks cool. Then for my landscape, I'm going to be using these bushes here. I'm going to add them on either side of my stairs. And then I'm also going to go in with this bush here, the fern. And we're going to landscape around this pond, kind of like a cake. It's going to look a little ridiculous for a minute, but I'm basically going to just follow around the edges here with this. Each time I place it, I'm rotating it a little bit so that it doesn't look so patterny. Then once I do that, I'm going to go in again along the bottom and do the same thing. So rotating them, just kind of like messing putting these under here. I'm gonna fill in the awkward parts with some flowers, maybe just some like colorful flowers in here. And again, just messily like clicking, putting them everywhere. And then finally along the bottom layer, I'm going to be adding this here from base game and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger than normal. So just using my brackets on my keyboard, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and we're just gonna fill in like this bottom layer here, just so that like all of the plants are reaching the water. We can even bring some of these bushes throughout, adding some rocks in here too. Okay, so our landscaping is done for the most part. We're ready to finally start with our shell. To combine all of these packs, I feel like it has to be a family home. We're gonna have to have a teen living here too. And I guess by default, they're gonna have to be werewolves as well. I feel like we're gonna need a cute porch for this build. So I'm trying to keep that in mind. I want it to be like right here. I moved the whole thing back a little bit. So let's see if we can fit it. I'm picturing like a rounded one, which is probably gonna bite us. 
sense. If I have my rounded part there like that, I'm thinking I can build out a room right here. That'll add the flooring and then I can just delete the walls that I just made. And then I think actually the fence from the werewolves pack would be really cute with this, right? Like I feel like it matches with the pond and everything. I am gonna raise this up. We can add the matching stairs leading up to. And for foundation paint, there's this one from Growing Together, but I was debating on actually maybe using like a base game one. Like it could be cute if this was up on like a stilt foundation. And then for the flooring up here, I did the same kind of base game checkered trick, but I'm actually gonna replace that with the werewolves tiling right here. So we're gonna have like more of a cracked look. I think I might replace that everywhere actually. I'm aiming for messy, but still a little bit whimsical. For roofing, I wanna first take care of this front patio here. So I'm gonna take a smooth keeper fence from base game. I'm gonna turn the grid on and I'm just gonna follow along the grid kind of until where the patio ends. So coming out like this all the way along until we've covered the whole thing. Then I'm gonna just connect it along the edges like this. We're going along the back way too. So I'm gonna have to take my hammer tool and just delete the ones like in between. We're gonna use a base game trim around that to just kind of clean it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna use the werewolves columns to just like bring it all together. And now we have a super cute like front patio area, but I still have to roof the rest of it. So I'm gonna have to take a diagonal roofing piece and put it over here. Maybe we'll have one like right at the front like this and then one side piece here. But what I think I'm gonna also have to do is maybe add like a little roofing detail in here. I was actually thinking we would need to do this for sure, but maybe I'll just keep it in the back there. I did this in one of my recent builds. And what you can do with this is go in and actually add like windows right here. So it looks like maybe an open part of the roof or just something a little bit different for added detail. I think that looks cute in the back there just like that. You know what is going on the front and the back? I think it just looks cool. Okay, for wallpaper, I was thinking about either using the siding here from growing together. I do think that looks quite cute actually. We could maybe even mix and match with like this here on the roofing part. Or we could even use the shingle here from werewolves on the top. There's also the option to use the werewolves shingles with like the moss on top, but I kind of just want to put it on some of them. I don't know if I like the look of having it on everything. Maybe I'll keep it there until we finish the windows. For the front door, I'm going to use this one here from werewolves. And then I think for the rest of the windows, I'm going to stick with growing together. We'll have like the old door, but then all of our windows here are going to be super cute and new. Back here, I'm going to have a little door leading out to the rest of the yard. We'll do another small rounded balcony. This is a random question, but how early do you guys think is too early to be out cutting your grass? Because <laughs> I can hear someone out there. It is quite early. It is 7.19 in the morning. It doesn't bother me any because I'm up super early every day anyway, but just wondering what uh, what time you guys are thinking. Personally, I think 10 o'clock is like a good, you know, mark. Maybe earlier if you got something to do that day, but let me know. Back here, I really wanted to add a pergola. Am I gonna have room for it? The terrain is making it a little bit awkward, but I think I can adjust and make room for it. And I forgot about these here from high school years. I definitely want to put at least a few of these on here. On this area, I could use some of like the bigger ones combined with a smaller one like that. And I think I might do something similar in the front. Oh, werewolves has the cute mailbox we could use. Okay, this is what we're gonna end up with for the exterior. I think it turned out so cute. I love the outside. I love the landscaping. In here, I just added a couch from high school years along with one of the matching chairs from the back. The front porch area is so cute. And along the back, I made this really adorable pond area. We've got our telescope, some planters back there. This would be such a cute spot for your sims to come and hang out. And I added one of the base game barbecues up here. With the floral print on it, it totally matched like everything back here. And with that, we're ready to go on into the inside. I'm hoping I left enough room for two bedrooms in here. I think we should be good. Like we can do one there in the back like that. That's nice and easy. We can do a bathroom like right there. And we could just section this part off here as our second bedroom. But I could bring this out even further, I think if I wanted to. Oh, that actually looks even better over the water like that. Okay, so yeah, that'll be our floor plan. We'll have our two bedrooms, our bathroom, and then everything else will be open concept. Okay, starting off in the main room with flooring. And before I pick my wallpaper, I think I'm gonna pick a couch first. I'm debating on trying this one here. I like the blue. I think it's cute. So let's put that there for now. I think my living room is gonna be facing this way with like a fireplace over there, maybe a matching chair over here too. Or we could try and go for a darker vibe. 
vibe. I was drawn to the rug here from high school years. Then maybe we could do like a purple wallpaper. Might be a little risky, but I'm gonna try it and see where it takes us here. I'm going in and changing the main room lighting already to like an orangey meets purple lighting. In the background, maybe we could add these like growing together plants by the window. We've got a high school years curtain on there. Of course, we have to add the moon lamp. Ooh, the growing together owls could look cute on here. Maybe some lighting on both sides of our mirror. And I think I might put one of the werewolves bookshelves leaning against the wall right here. And then we can add some of the growing together like board games, even some of the high school years clutter. I actually did not think that these were gonna go together as well as they are. Like this mushroom plant thing here from growing together matches so well with our like whimsical theme. The living room is looking so cute. Okay, we need to start focusing on the rest of the area. I think over here I could do dining. We can do kitchen in the back corner. So maybe we'll do this dining table here. And I think ideally I would want something that's gonna match like maybe a purple, maybe even a yellow. And then we bring more purple in with like the details. Oh, we can use this base game flower over here and the flower colors actually kind of match the ones in the rug. Okay, I've pulled this area together with that plant there. We've got the shelves from growing together. And on there, I added some more like werewolves clutter, like that mushroom, the lamp up here. I added a clothing rack by the door and I think I'm gonna spin around and do the kitchen on this side. We're definitely gonna be using the new fridge from growing together with the matching oven. No counters from any of these, huh? We'll just have to use these base game ones. I might even like push them back into the wall a little bit to get rid of that back part. And I do have room to put some over here too. So we have extra room for prep. I could even put like a sink back here. I think it would be cute to have a window like right up here as well. We've got our sink there. I'm gonna do a trash can over in this corner. We have all our essentials really. And I still have room for clutter. So I think I'm gonna add some plants right here behind the couch. I'm even adding some cabinets above my counters here. And I think I'm just gonna add some more like base game kitchen clutter all around like on my countertops. We can add a towel over here near the sink. And there we have our kitchen area over here. I feel like this is turning out so cute. All of our essentials over here, we do still even have like way more room in here than I thought we would. My favorite part is definitely our living room area, but I feel like the whole thing just looks so different. Let's move into one of the bedrooms. I do wanna do the teen bedroom first. I already put this rug in here. This is also from high school years. And I figured with like the phase of the moons, it made sense with like our werewolf theme. We're gonna use the high school years wallpaper. I think I'm gonna keep our lighting consistent in here and do like the orange and the purple. So our lighting is gonna look something like that. And for our bed, I'm considering using this one here. I really love the shape of that one. I love the swatches. This one could also be really cute though. With like these end tables on both sides. Oh yeah, werewolves has like the cool wall decals and stuff. Like this is an option. That would be wild. We've also got like this one. I was even considering doing some of these. And growing together also has the matching moon lamp. It was meant to be. It's all coming together so perfectly. I changed the bed swatch to purple and this is so cool. We need a dresser still. I think I might stick with the black and use that one there with the stickers on it. We can do a cute growing together backpack. I'm adding a wall decal from werewolves. And as a skill item, maybe we can use this guitar somewhere too. I feel like we need the mirror in here. I'm actually trying to find one of these in real life. They are so freaking expensive though. I wonder if I could like DIY it. Maybe not like this one, but like the wavy ones, you know? We also have some of these posters. So I'm gonna fill up this side of the wall with these. And there we go. This is going to be our teen bedroom, our teen werewolf bedroom. The color scheme in here is probably my favorite. I'm so happy we went with like the purple. I think what I'm gonna do is go out and change all of the like landscaping to more like purple flowers to match this, but definitely loving it in here. I don't think I've ever done like a teen werewolf bedroom before. So loving how this one turned out. We're gonna go over and do the bathroom next, which I'm gonna use this flooring here from high school years, maybe with like the all black metal tile. And to get everything in here that I want, I think we're gonna have to stick with a shower. So I'm just gonna use that one there from base game. Maybe with our toilet right here, I've adjusted some of my windows just to make the bathroom look a little bit better in here. We can use the new sink from high school years, maybe with a matching mirror right there. Oh, and we even have room for one of these plants right here too. We have everything we need on this side. And I think I might just add like a picture over here or maybe even this thing. This might be kind of weird to put, but I'm gonna try it. We're living in a werewolf house after all. Okay, there we are. Let's move on from our bathroom to the final room, which is gonna be the parent bedroom. And I think I might pick a bed before we pick our wallpaper here. I'm gonna be keeping with the same color scheme. So like the purple, the 
blue. Okay, I'm considering using the same bed that I did in the other room, but in a different swatch. So I've got this one here right now. And for my rugs, this is actually just a singular rug that I had to make bigger. And then I put two of them together because I liked the pattern. For my dresser this time, I'm considering putting two. I'm gonna put the trunks, but then we could maybe do like another big one over here. This mirror from Growing Together, I thought fit the aesthetic so well. And for my curtains, I'm not really the biggest fan of like any of the base game ones, to be honest. So I think I'm stuck using the same ones from high school years that I used everywhere else. For end tables in here though, we could play with the gold that we've got in the carpet. So I'm gonna use these. We could also actually even use these ones here. But I don't mind that round shape. I also just need some more wall decor. So I'm gonna add that there from base game. Maybe we can add a couple of these werewolf pictures too. Oh, and we can fit an ottoman right here. All right, so here is our parent bedroom, the final room in the house all complete. I absolutely love this whole aesthetic of the house. I didn't really know where we were gonna go with this. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be more of like a family home base or like more occult theme, but I feel like we have a pretty good combination in this house of all three packs involved. Like I said, I wanted to go back here and change a lot of my flowers to purple and blue. So I did that with most of them, I think. I think it still looks cute with some pink throughout as well. But that has been us building a house in The Sims 4 using only the three newest packs. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.